What is up everybody? Welcome back to The Real Frame Reviews. Today we have Netflix original film Gerald's Game starring Carlo Gugino and that professor guy from 8 Below. Um, this, this film is directed by Mike Flanagan. You would know him from Oculus. So going into this film right away, you can understand that there is some buzz and circulation going on because um, it's a Stephen King novel. And what you have going into this with Mike Flanagan is probably some good thrills um, and kills. But uh, actually, it's, it took a different route for me. Um, what Gerald's Game does is uh, kind of weigh on the psychological aspect of the characters, which I find absolutely um, enthralling. For those of you going into this film looking for something that's going to scare you and creep you out, it's not so much like that. It'll, it'll make you cringe at times, and it actually makes you think a little bit. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of heart to it. Um, first of all, Carlo Gugino is fantastic in this. Um, the way that she goes about her roles um, and the duality of her roles is something that um, is just wonderful to watch on screen. So going back to it, this film is actually about a couple that has lost the spark in their relationship and they go to a secluded hideaway to try to gain that back. Um, so not spoiling anything, uh, because this is actually in the trailer, um, her husband locks her up to the bed using handcuffs, pops a little Viagra, and then has a heart attack and dies. Um, some aspects of this film that you get is sort of, um, it's like the, the spirit of her husband comes back and is trying to, to help her or maybe not help her in some ways, and then her spirit, her inner thoughts or consciousness comes out and actually starts um, talking with her. So there's really um, a lot going on in this. And then also a side character, if you will, couple characters, if you will, um, that present uh, some things that are pretty creepy and um, dangerous. Look, this film is is well done. It really is. It, it, it takes that whole Stephen King um, genre of film and kind of it spruces it up a little bit because not normally do you see Stephen King films um, work so well. Uh, there are a couple, obviously, that come to mind, including uh, most recently Stephen, um, well, it, the It remake. Um, but going into this film and coming out of this film, um, those of you who are into, you know, Halloween and are looking for um, a quick scare, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna come out of this one uh, super happy. Um, but it is a film that I do recommend you watch and just see how it plays out. Um, the the man from the boy Elliot from ET is in this, and he plays just such a creepy, creepy role um, as. Carla's father and it just explores all sorts of backstory and um, some random things that happen in the book um, happen on screen as well so if you want to know what I'm talking about go check out Gerald's Game it's streaming on Netflix right now um, I do I do back this film I think it is well done I think it's well acted um, the editing is gorgeous the way that they have to play off of really how Carla has to play off of her herself. Um, and it's just, it, it's something to see. It really is. And I thought it was well done and it's well-deserved, uh, the praise that it's getting. So uh, go check out Gerald's Game, streaming now on Netflix, and let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, is it a film that you'd go back to? Is it a film that you would recommend for people trying to get a little scared this October? Let me know. Scott Icebox Nimi signing out. Later.